Okay, Mr. Peter or Pan Peter, <laughs> however you wanna uh, say it in English, <laughs> Mr. Peter, I would say. Anyway, so please go ahead and open your Pokemon, react to them. Remember, I cannot see them, so I'm just gonna go on a hunch and thinking if you're bluffing or not. All right, so let's start with the first one on the left. Uh, so this man, so the first man is um, kind of classic, I would say. The second man. Mm, is uh, one of my one of my favorites from uh, region uh, Hoenn, and the last one is also from uh, Hoenn, but uh, it's nothing special, I would say. Well, last one you said is meh, so I mean I don't want to make a meh video, so maybe not. The first one you said is classic, and the second you said is like your favorite from Hoenn, something like that. Not exactly sure <laughs> what your favorite Hoenmon is, but I'm guessing it's kind of okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go with left for classic. Left, alright. So, um, the right one uh, was Glally, so it's nothing special. Glally, Glally, something like that. The middle one, uh, one of my favorites, uh, it's a Taylo, and you <laughs> picked the classic one for me. <laughs> it's a Mewtwo. <laughs> no! <laughs> Mewtwo, okay, let's hope that it's moved to this shit. Alright, so my Mewtwo, level 5, has this ability, mm-hmm, alright, and this moves it. Um, I like it. So on the left, I have this Pokemon. So this Pokemon is, I would say, also a classic, um, kind of similar to yours. The next one is... <laughs> the next one is... Triple classic and then the very last one is uh, Well, it's a very summery vibe. All right um, I'm interested in the middle one like the triple classic. So you have chosen this one Okay, so it is a dog trio the classic one was Alakazam, but dog trio has has this ability <laughs> and it has this moveset. Dobra, powiem ci, bo to jest śmieszne. Dactrio ma pure power. <laughs> oh kurwa! <laughs> Let's go for Pokemon number two. How about you start? So the first man uh, lives in a location uh, available only via HM. The second one is um, much more classic than my first Pokemon and your first Pokemon. And the last one is a little shit. I'm guessing the first one is something like Dive or Waterfall. At least that makes some sense. I mean, it could be Cut or Rock Smash, but I don't know what Pokemon is locked behind that. So I'm guessing it's some sort of watery vibe. Second one sounds like Charizard, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and the last one is shit. Uh, it could be a bluff, and you you think that if you say that, I'm gonna go for that just to make it worse. Uh, but I'm honestly like, okay, so what I'm thinking it's like Lugia, Charizard, something good. So I'll just put my bet on something good. So I'll go for little shit. All right. So the first man, uh, you guessed correctly. It was something behind um, the waterfall or dive. It is a relicant. Um, the second one is more classic than Charizard. It's a Pikachu. And the last one is Swinab. Like, the good thing is that uh, I can evolve it uh, to Mamoswine, so it's not a big deal. His nature, sorry, his ability, mm, nothing special. And, whoa, that moves it, lol. Alright, time for my free Pokemon. Uh, let's start with this one. It's like, uh, we've seen these before. It's also a, uh, it's a decent type, I guess. Ah, this one is, um, I have used it in my wonder fronts so if you know what i'm talking about then you know what it is and then the last mm. one is it, it's an evolution of a mega classic like yeah so um let's choose uh, the middle one because uh, i honestly i don't remember your um solo runs like with the one death okay so you're choosing this one and it is a cack turn. And uh, unfortunately, you did not fall for my bait saying, yeah, it's meh because it was Raikou. And the last one was uh, Flareon. So oh. we have... We have a... Uh, 
Absolutely amazing ability here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what? Okay, well... Uh. Alright, so the first one... Um, I like its evolution and I know for sure that you like it even more. The second one is... Um, jack, jack shit. Is it a correct word? <laughs> It flies, so... <laughs> and the next one... I would say it's a classic too. Okay, so jack shit uh, that flies, I don't know... <laughs> Subat or something. Classic, uh, then it should be Gen 1 again, or maybe like a legendary, so I'm gonna stay away from that. And the first one you said, uh, you like it, but I like it even more. Which tells me that it could be something like a shroomish, and then it evolves into Breloom. Which I don't really mind you having a Breloom, so I'm gonna go for one. So, uh, so the flying jack shit is a Salamence. It was my bluff. <laughs> the last one is uh, correctly um, Pokemon from Gen 1. It's a Charmander. And you picked uh, for me a Grovile. Ah, that was my second guess, yeah. That it would be Sceptile. My mom has uh, this ability and uh, honestly I am in love with it. Sorry. <laughs> And this moveset which kinda sucks. So from my side we have, first Pokemon is, um, has a decent use. I think it's pretty well used and when it's used. Next one is, this one can be really problematic. Historically has proven to be quite problematic. Last one is, it's good on defenses. Alright, so let's pick uh, the last one. The defensive boy. Nice, cool. So you picked Tangela, so that gives me Tangrowth. Freaking Sceptile, Salamence, Charizard versus <laughs> Chomplof, Tangela, and it's a bit. Okay, well, decent ability. And uh, pfft, yeah, <laughs> what a moveset, huh? Alright, so the first one is uh, hmm, one of the big three, and the second one is, I would say, it's a Hoenn classic, and the last one is. I would say it has a big tongue. The second one I'm thinking is something like a Ralts. The last one you said is has a big tongue, which obviously tells me it could be a Licky Tongue, but it also could be a Gengar or something like that, because that Pokemon also has a big tongue. And the first one you said that it's part of a big three, right? Which kind of always speaks something like a pseudo-legendary trio or a um, legendary trio, so... I think I'm gonna go with uh, the last one. Alright, so one of the big three was a Hitmon top. That mon that you encounter um, in a certain point of time uh, in Hoenn is a Wormpool, so <laughs> thank you for that. And the last one, I think it's um, the most interesting one. Did you know how big Tongue of a Shell there is? My ability, I would say it's useless, but the moveset... Wow, it's shocking, I would say. Shell shocking. <laughs> so for my side, we have um, a Pokemon that looks like it's pretty pissed off. We have mm. a Pokemon that is pretty classic as well, I would say. But it's also, it's surprisingly huge for how early you meet it in the game. And the last one is, oh, this is also like one of the classics, I would say. It's not... It doesn't come to mind immediately when you say Pokemon Classic, but it is a Pokemon Class. Let's go for the middle one. You have chosen Onyx, yeah, and Onyx has... <laughs> okay, has this ability, which, I mean, only in the ra randomizer you can see this. And it has... oh my god, what? Alright, so the first one is... it's a shocking evolution like it's uh, it doesn't belong there the second one i would say it's a pretty angry pokemon and the last one it reminds me of uh, alomomola first one sounds like shocking would kind of make me think you use a thunderstone but you also might just mean shocking as in you know ah it's what's happening which makes me feel it might be slow king because the shelter tail goes on his head. Second one you said was... Um, something very angry. 
half night very angry yeah so i don't know primate maybe and then the third one this is a bluff because you want me to think it's love disc and love disc sucks so this is definitely a good pokemon <laughs> so i'm going with <laughs> number uh, i actually I go with number one because i'm curious what you mean by shocking evolution the pokemon that reminds me of alomamola would be in fact love disc but this one is a gorubis um the angry pokemon you guessed correctly, it's a primate. And the shocking evolution is a Politoed. Uh, honestly, I don't even know what this ability does, so it's something random. And the moves are, mm, I would say it's a medium tier Pokemon. So from mine, it's a water type. It's a nice looking water type, that's what I'm gonna say. We have a Pokemon that is very sought after. People are really interested in this Pokemon, but not necessarily always for good reasons. <laughs> if that makes <laughs> any sense. Uh, this Pokemon can also be described by the third and the fourth digit in our, you know, uh, Arabic uh, counting system. And then the last one, not exactly, I haven't used it too much, but I know it can have its... All right, so... Um, the first one, I'm not sure what the hell it is. And the second one, it's obviously Vaporeon, so I would like you to choose number three. You, you said second one is Vaporeon? Yeah, that's my guess. I said the first one is nice and water. So the first one was Suicune, water oh. and nice looking. The second one, I said third and fourth number because of rule 34, it's uh, Kerlia for Gardevoir. And then the last one is Masquerain, so I know it has Sticky Web in Gen 5, but I have no clue what it does in this generation. So you want me to take the Masquerain, which... Uh, okay, well, let's hope it has a good ability at least. And it... Alright, thanks for uh, the Masquerain. Alright, so the first pick is... Hmm, Pre-evolution of something I uh, had already mm, opportunity to choose. Um, the second one, also the pre-evolution of something. And the last one, it's one of uh, the two months that you can receive during one evolution. Right, Shedinja or Ninja. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and say that's Shedinja then. Uh, the first one is scary because if it's a pre-evolution of something you already had, and I remember you had Salamence, which might result in you having a Salamence. Um, it's a little scary. And then the second one you said it's a pre-evolution of a thing you already had as well or just a pre-evolution? Mm, pre-evolution of something that I already have. Okay, then I have to go with Shedinja, I don't want to risk it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Alright, so the first one is a Clumpel, the second is uh, a Poliwhirl, and you picked a Ninjask for me, but uh, not with this ability. <laughs> And about the moveset, oh... <clears throat> we have a Pokemon that is... you can... I mean, normally it's used for defensive stalling, I think. Second one is actually... yeah, this is a pretty nice Pokemon. Uh, it has its uses. It also got a big buff later on in the generations. And then the last one is... oh, it's a Pokemon that is associated with the alphabet and it's very strong, yes. Of course. So I would uh, choose the first one because I'm guessing I'm guessing the last one is a unknown and the middle one is something um, that I should be scared of, maybe? So you you chose Dust Tox. I'm honestly surprised you chose it after I said it's used for toxic stalling. <laughs> the last one was not an unknown, it was a Nido Queen. I was just trying to bait you to have me pick it. Okay, and the ability is... Ah, okay, well, that's actually pretty useful. And then we have... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, so let me put it in and then we will go and battle. Just by looking at your team, I can tell that it's way better than mine. Hopefully... Either my abilities or my movesets or my just skill <laughs> can carry this. All right, so uh, I think I would start with uh, this monster. Oh, and also it says we can Dynamax, but please let's not. Yeah, let's not. Let's try this one. Let's oh! go! Let's go! <laughs> one oh. Um, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Ah, Steelix, of course. Ah, <laughs> it does absolutely nothing. Thankfully, <laughs> Bubble Beam is a shitty move. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
And down goes the ninjask. Nice. No, I'm pretty sure not. Well, let's try. Water pulse. Oh, don't miss. Oh! Man, this is look. Yo, this, this Steelix is a beast. This Steelix. This Steelix. It also has a swift swim is the ability. <laughs> I also have a coverage for this. No, I had thunder. I see that vault tackle. But you see my mammoth vine, so... <laughs> wow! Uh, <laughs> Goodbye. <no. laughs> Rock, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Honestly, I think I have never seen um, a rock throw animation on Showdown. Nope, me neither. That looked pretty funny. Water spout tangrove. I think you... Uh, did you use a proper move? Isn't it water sport? No, it was water spout. And this is the so tech for fire types, actually. <laughs> let's try this one. You're scarfed! Of course you're scarfed! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's the world versus Mewtwo. Or sorry, Mewtwo versus the world. Oh. Oh, my extreme spin does nothing. Now I do 15. 18. 18. And now I do five. One. <laughs> One. <laughs> yeah, let's go, Mewtwo. Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Of course, the Sash. Bite Dactrio. Dactrio had pure power, and the only move that benefited from pure power was bite. And it came in clutch. Well, that's the that's the video. Um, there's gonna be a very similar video on uh, Peter's channel, so uh, I'll of course leave a link. But uh, you know, go there. All right. Well, thanks. We'll see you uh, next time, and take care. You know, have fun. Bye bye. Bye.